Hi guys, welcome to Hand War Online. This is Santiago, Hotel India 8, Oscar, Kilo Bravo 8, Sierra Mike. And today I'm going to show you how to create different configurations in WSJTX depending on your operation type. If you're looking for Foxhound operation, if you're looking to, uh, for different call signs, different locations, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make different configurations and make things easier. I'm going to be doing it right after this. Okay, welcome back onliners. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to uh, make some configurations on WSJTX if you are trying to hunt on the expedition do, uh, using Foxhound or if you want to change location to a different grid, maybe you're doing portable operations, uh, stuff like that. I'm going to show you how you can uh, create the configuration and move from from one to another uh, very quickly. Let's get right into it. First of all, we have a WSJTX open, as you can see here. You see here in the menu of a WSJTX, you have a configuration. If you click on that, you got default. That's your default configuration. I have one already set up for the expedition, which is the one I'm using for a Foxhound. And I have a, another configuration done with a FT8 off, which is a, a FTA sprint that we do every Thursday uh, with a YouTuber's guide from a temporary offline ham radio dude, coffee ham radio, and uh, the rest of the gang. So it's very easy. I have my default uh, configuration. We have where I have I have uh, my settings here, usual settings, depending on your uh, regular station. First step is uh, clone that configuration. You go to default, put your mouse over it, and you get clone. You just hit clone and go back to configuration again, you'll see a copy of your default. First thing you have to do, just to uh, before you forget or before you get confused, is rename it. I'm going to re rename it for, uh, let's say, Fox Hound, which is the configuration I'm going to use if I'm trying to work in the expedition using uh, Foxhound mode. You click OK, go back again to configuration. You can see now that uh, the phone Foxhound name is already there. You go to uh, switch to, it will close WSJTX and then open it again. Just wait a couple of seconds, it's here. Okay, you can see there. Let me uh, wipe this a little bit. If you click on configurations, you'll see that the one is that is active is Foxhound, the one we just created. So we go to settings, and we have we make the different settings that you need for that uh, configuration. For example, general tabs remains the same radio uh, whether you use it on fake it rig or none if you're gonna be operating in foxhound you're gonna be, need to put it in fake it because the radio have to do the split operation so you set it on fake it audio configuration remains the same macros also reporting as well one of the biggest uh, changes when you're using a Foxhound is uh, the frequencies which the Foxhound operations take place. You have two options here. You either can leave the normal uh, frequencies that the program has from uh, default, or you can delete it and insert the WSJTX Foxhound frequencies. For example, you just, uh, Go here, make a right click of the mouse, insert, and you can uh, 
shoes here the Ayaru uh, region I'm in region 2 you can leave it in all it doesn't matter mode you go to FT8 for example and um, let's try for example the 20 meters frequency for Foxhound which is 14090 you put it there go to click OK and as you can see now the Foxhound uh, frequency is there you can do that with uh, every uh, standard Foxhound frequency I'm gonna be listing the standard frequencies uh, in the description of the video below at the end of the video you can do it one one by one you can also, the second option is delete all the frequencies the default configuration had. Right click, delete. Now you have uh, no frequencies. You proceed to add it like we just did. That way, let me try, for example, let me use the 40 meter standard frequency for X Foxhound is 70. 56 you can see there now you have the two frequencies this is what i have i only have in my foxhound configuration i only have the foxhound frequencies that way when i'm using foxhound the drop down menu of the program only showed me the foxhound frequencies so i prefer it that way but you can uh, do it like you want colors say the same in advance Obviously, you don't have to check here. Special operating activity. You click Hound. Normally, you are Hound. And you click OK. As you can see, now the program automatically goes to Fox Hound. You can see Hound here. It is out of band because the frequency I, ha I used to be is not in the frequency list. Remember, I just added 20 meters. Now I'm 20 meter fox hound. If I go 40 meet 40 meters, that's 40 meters fox hound frequency. Just like that. And if I already, for example, I did work the fox hound station I was after. I just click configurations again. Look for my default configuration. Click switch to. It will close the program. It will open the program and just like that I'm back to my normal uh, configuration in just a few clicks that is uh, much easier much faster than uh, changing the settings each time I'm gonna be uh, pursuing a Foxhound operation remember you just click configuration the exp uh, ex Foxhound was the one we created switch to so in just two clicks I'm back to Foxhound and ready to operate and chase and chase that the expedition let's go back to the default one switch to again two clicks and I'm back to uh, my normal configuration instead of changing all the settings and remembering to put it back like they were. You can do this for uh, any additional configuration. For example, if you want to do a configuration on, depending on if you're doing portable, you just go here, create the configuration and change whatever changes in your operation. For example, if it's a call sign with a slash two, for example, sl slash maritime mobile I don't know maybe you change grids when doing that operation you just uh, change it save it with a new name and that's it for it for example let me show you if you, are, if you participate in the FT8 uh, of Thursday nights and you want to create that configuration just with the changes you need the one I'm going to switch to mine to show you. The only thing that changes 
in this configuration is the secondary UDP. Let me wipe this here a bit. If you got settings, you can see here in reporting the secondary UDP IP address is the one that uh, we use to send the, uh, the log online automatically. So you just change this here, put the port number, and that's it. Let me show you quickly how you can uh, create your uh, configuration for FTA off. Okay, we go to configuration, remember, we clone the default one, which has the most of the configurations we are going to use. Once we clone it, we look for it. You normally will say copy. Remember, first you change the name so you, you don't uh, forget. Let's call it uh, FT8. Sprint, just to make a different name than the one I have. FTA, FT8 Sprint, click OK. Should be here. Again, we go to Switch To. This will open, uh, close and open the program once again. And we change whatever we need to change. In this case, for FT8 off, you only need to change the reporting address for the secondary UDP. So you go to here, put the one that uh, is required, 3.22.55.64. The port number is 2238. Click OK. And that's it. This is a configuration created just for when you're going to be up operating during FT8 off, you just change from one to the other with two clicks and no time to lose. Just like that, I'm back in my normal configuration, you see, the one is active with the dot at the left. And if you want to uh, rename or reset or delete uh, any of the configurations, you can do it, uh, do it through the menu. The only one you cannot delete is the default configuration, but any other configuration you create afterwards, you can delete it, clone it, rename it, or reset it to default values. For example, the FTA sprint we just created, I'm going to click delete. It will obviously confirm that you want to delete the configuration. You just click yes and it's it i'm gonna delete the fox uh, fox sound also because I, I already have one delete confirm it with yes and that's it so remember let me show you for example one thing before we close this with the frequencies in Foxhound mode, you have two options. You can either uh, include the frequencies for Foxhound operation along with the frequencies uh, by default, or you can delete the default and just leave the standard frequencies for FT8 uh, Foxhound. In this case, like I mentioned before, I only have the ones that are used in Foxhound. This way, when I click here, it it will only present me with the frequencies for Foxhound. I, I don't have to look uh, through four or five frequencies on the same band uh, and trying to remember which one was it. So that's it. Like I said, it's, it's, it is uh, simple, it's quick, and it will help you uh, operate uh, more uh, easier and uh, faster and uh, these quick seconds will probably make the difference whether you work or not a given station in a given moment if you have any questions or uh, comments please make sure you leave it in the comment section 
and I will be more than happy to uh, answer any question or come back with uh, any solution. And if you have any issues or problems trying to configure this, also let me know and I'll do my best to help. Okay, onliners, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please uh, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe using the buttons below. I'm gonna be linking in the description uh, more information about the frequencies for Foxhound uh, uh, operations. Also some interesting links with my social media. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching. This is Hamwood Online, Hotel India 8, Oscar Kilo Bravo, Sierra Might. Goodbye.